listening to Nasty Knuckles, the Hockey Outlaws podcast, with your hosts, Terry Nasty Sotomayor and former Philadelphia Flyer Enforcer, Riley Cote, as they go behind the scenes with your favorite NHL players. Time to face off. All right, welcome back. What's happening, Nasty? What's up, Regarelia? This is it. Yeah. Fresh threads. Fresh threads. This looks like it's freshly printed. Oh no, had it for a bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It check it steamy. out. Maybe if you checked out the side a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, no, I'm kidding. You sweat. Um, right. I'm. It's hot in here. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. The AC, you turn the AC off. It's too loud. Wow. But no, nah. doing all right. Coming off a long weekend. Oh yeah. How did that go? <sighs> Unreal. Extra saw the boys, yep, saw my buddies. Great concert, Dylan Fence put on. You would have loved it. Saw some pics. Yeah, it was awesome. What, had the, a what great crew weekend. you had there. Oh, like. big crew. Big Is that crew. all high school reunion? Or? It was some college, high school, high school and college. Some guys, me me and a couple of the guys uh, went to high school and college together. So um, big, big crew, great show, great turnout. You made it back. Made it back. Well, I, I made it through the weekend. I was worried. <laughs> you a little some, long, some long nights. You dip into the clear. <laughs> did I? I dipped into it. I did. Well, you stayed hydrated. I, was, while you're <laughs> I stayed <laughs> hydrated while I got myself a little dehydrated. Yeah, but it's all balanced, dude. I'm a professional, professional. when it comes to that, so I was just fine. But well I know you're looking good. Great. Chipper, yep. Cool happy. Energy. Well, happy because I heard our boy Matt Vay. Has landed. <laughs> the eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. Oh so gosh. we might have to cut this short in a few minutes and run over and see him. But I'm ready to rock. Before we do, I did want to throw this at you. Oh, look at those. The new Tovey glove. Wow. This thing, I told you about them. I told you about these gloves. Oops, sorry. Told you about the gloves. Got the carbon fiber oh, man, those are nice. in here for protection, which makes the gloves super light. This is a 14 inch. I think I need a 13. I had it on earlier. It feels, it feels nice. How do I get a it, pair of those feels, for Mensley, well, dude? Uh, I think we we'll just call our friends Treat. Toby and uh, get them. But uh, in all seriousness, this glove, aerodynamic. Solid. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's anatomical with your hand. So it oh, like man. fits perfectly. Try it, it on, like, Riggs. Yeah, I, uh, I like that they're getting into the equipment. Yes, we have a few surprises up yeah, our a sleeve. a couple more surprises. With Toby Hockey, so. This, these will be good for an extra few snipes in Men's Oh, league. for sure. Speaking yeah. of Matt Vey, you Matt might, Vey, they might yeah. be calling you Matt Vey Cote. Oh, you never know. They could. Never skill guy. Nice design. Even yes. Better feel. Better feel, I know. And they're so light. And functionality. Will, yes. Will be determined. It, well. Because I got to get back on the ice. I haven't been back since the old <laughs> MCL tweaker. I forgot you are a doctor. <laughs> Self-diagnosed. Dr. Cote, yeah. Hey. It was MCL, MCL all the way. All the way. Guaranteed it was. Yeah, for sure. Anybody that's had one knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just keep away from those. Well, let's uh, get a couple of these sent. Yeah, we are. Over and we are. Make sure there's lefty, fr- lefty and righty. Yeah, well, there's one behind you. Okay. The righty's me. behind you. Anyway, I'm pretty pumped. Matt Face here. We haven't seen him in a few weeks since he stopped by the stew with his Wawa coffee, but uh, maybe we should run over there. Check it out. Let me hop in the whip and go. Let's go. All right, it's going ass. All right. It's that time. It is. Let's do this. Leave mine. Oh, I bring the glove. I don't want to show it to him today. I don't want to show it to him today, bro. Got a shotgun. Well, I guess you do. <laughs> Let's go.
Good morning, everybody. It's a big crowd today. We'll open up the Q&A now. So, Matt, can you take us through the process of ending the contract with St. Petersburg and signing with the Flyers and coming here today? Можно сказать, как закончился контракт с Россией и как закончился контракт здесь. У меня была мечта играть в НХЛ, вот, и клуб СКА пошел мне навстречу, все сделал возможное для моей мечты, за это я ему очень благодарен, и теперь я нахожусь здесь, и очень счастлив этому. Uh, he had a dream to play in uh, NHL. Uh, this uh, club SKA make it possible and release him, and now he's here. Danny, maybe can you just take us into what it was like getting Matt Bay here over the past couple of weeks? Um, I imagine it was kind of a long journey, long process. Yeah, yeah, we started uh, hearing rumblings after the season that uh, there was a possibility of it happening. Uh, we talked to his representatives and agents um, and, you know, just to help us uh, understand what was going on. They did most of the work and uh, uh, you know, it was definitely exciting to, to more uh, when we realized that there was a strong possibility that it could happen. Uh, but it was definitely a long wait. Um, you know, when we drafted him last year, uh, we never thought this would happen. Uh, part of the reason why he fell to us, um, you know, because he would have gone a lot earlier, we, we knew that. We felt we were in a position to be able to wait uh, the three years for him to come. So uh, to have this opportunity it's, it is amazing. Uh, to get him early um, at 19 years old, to learn, um, you know, under a coach like Torts and the coaching staff that we have, I think it's it's a great opportunity for him and, and for us to have him early. <clears throat> Some people have called uh, called him the savior of his team. Do you embrace that label, or do you dismiss it and and not really think about that? Некоторые люди называют тебя то, что ты эту команду тянешь, выведешь, сохранишь. Ты чувствуешь себя то, что Это к тебе относится, и ты просто играть при этом. Нет, у меня всегда была задача по жизни это выигрывать, вот, и я сделал все возможное, чтобы помочь команде добиться как можно больше побед и кубков. His uh, uh, the main idea that always was uh, to win, to drive to win, and he's here to help the team to win. Просто, просто играть это не для меня. Моя uh, задача всегда выигрывать. Just to play, not his style, and he's here to win. Matt, how much contact did you have with the Flyers during the past season when you were in Sochi? And you know, what what, what do you have to do? Do you think to you know get ready, acclimate yourself to NHL hockey? You know, what what what, what parts of your game do you want to maybe change or improve upon? Как часто ты был контакт с Flyers, когда ты играл в Сочи? И что ты думаешь по поводу адаптации в НХЛ, что ты считаешь, что тебе можно поменять в твоей игре? Когда, конечно, довольно-таки часто созванивались, списывались, Флайерс следил за моей игрой, подсказывал мне нюансы, которые стоит исправить, вот, чтобы лучшая адаптация пришла тогда, когда я приеду сюда. Вот, и э, все, сегодня второй день здесь, и все, пытаюсь прийти в себя после долгих перелетов, вот, но слава богу сегодня вот уже полегче, сегодня покатался, потренировался и чувствую себя отлично. Flyers was in contact a lot, uh, not just on the phone, the text message and etc. So he, they, they was watching him play and telling him what he can do different in the game while he's in Sochi. Uh, for the second question is, uh, it's the second day, it was a very long fly day, travel day for him. Uh, he was on the ice today, he feels better, and uh, he will get better and better. Danny, the kind of the flip side of the question of he's the savior of the organization. Uh, your role now is that to temper expectations so people don't put too much on the shoulders of a, of a 19 year old? Yeah, we, we don't see him as a savior. That's, that's, that's certainly not um, what we're putting on his shoulder. Uh, he's 19 years old, he's, uh, he's coming in uh, to learn. Um, you know, to expand his game and, and you know, obviously we hope that the sky's the limit for him um, but it, certainly not we're not expecting him to be the savior of, of this team we're building a team that's 
going to have many pieces to work together, and we're hoping that Eddie becomes, uh, you know, one of them. Danny, what's this moment like for you? I mean, he fell to seven. You had the chance to take him. You had the expectation that he wouldn't be here for three years, but he's here a year after. What's for you? For you, what's this moment like? I, I didn't expect it, uh, to be honest. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, when we drafted him, we had no expectation of, of him coming in until his contract was done. Um, I, like I said earlier, it's the reason why he fell because uh, he, he would have gone, you know, in, in the top probably two or three at, at the most. So. Um, you know, it's 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 a great break for us for the organization to, to have him early to have him at 19. Um, you know, I know I've said this a few times before, but the chance for him to learn under towards uh, we all know uh, that you know he's gifted offensively, very very talented, uh, but he's going to have the, the chance to learn under towards to, to play the other side of uh, of the ice as well, and that that gets me excited. And he's going to get that base uh, early on. Uh, I think it's just going to make him better for the rest of his career. Да, это нереальная поддержка. В первую очередь фаната Flyers. Очень круто, что так любят хоккей. Вот и очень тепло меня встретили, очень благодарен им и надеюсь, что точнее не надеюсь, уверен в том, что они будут приходить также на матчи, поддерживать нашу команду. Но для нас самая главная задача это показывать наилучший хоккей и выигрывать каждый матч, на который они будут приходить. Это то. Uh, it's unreal how the fans are reacting, how well welcome he felt here coming in. Um, at the same time, the main idea right now is getting ready and show the hockey, really good hockey for the, the fans and uh, play the best game they can play. He's realizing his NHL dream. I imagine he's been thinking about his life. Он помнит, когда ты на драфте был, ты говорил, что твой папа хотел, чтобы ты даже играл в НХЛ. Как ты себя чувствуешь, то, что сейчас это происходит? Папа был бы очень доволен, счастлив. Ну, пока что я еще не понимаю, как себя чувствую, но как во сне, как будто бы, да, ты еще не веришь в это, что я здесь сейчас. Вот, но со временем, думаю, пройдет эта климатизация и буду чувствовать себя очень... Ну, очень хорошо и уверенно. Вот, я думаю, что папа гордился бы мной, но хотелось бы выиграть э, в честь него и Кубок Стэнли, и все трофеи, которые возможны. Uh, it's uh, not settled yet. It's, he doesn't feel real. It feels like a dream. Uh, he's still kind of in, uh, kind of just coming in yet, uh, as of right now. Uh, but uh, he thinks uh, the father would be really proud. And he wants to help the team and win with the team Stanley Cup and all all cups possible. <laughs> how how I guess you know how how frustrating or how smooth was the process for you to get here? Когда ты узнал, что ты сюда можешь приехать, и насколько процесс был комфортный, некомфортный от ее приезда? Процесс был тяжелый, да, долгий, но он меня не касался никак. Этим занимались мои представители и представители Flyers SK, как бы клубы между собой договаривались. Я в этом процессе никак не участвовал. Я просто продолжал тренироваться и готовиться ко всему, что бы то ни было. Вот. И, к счастью для меня, скажу так, что я сейчас здесь, я очень счастлив. И спасибо руководству Flyers и болельщикам, которые меня ждали. Я очень рад здесь находиться сейчас с вами. The process was long, uh, but it was not. Uh, he was not involved in it. Uh, between uh, Ska and Flyers, there was a negotiation, and uh, the process was not, not, not in any ways was uh, uh, was taken him out. Uh, his um, main thing was uh, getting ready for come over and uh, uh, play here and. Uh, very happy to be here. Uh, thanks for the fans and uh, we're looking forward to play here. Matvey, players such as Eric Johnson said they've been contacted you on Instagram messages. Have you talked to anybody else on this current team uh, through social media or just communication, any type of way? Uh, игроки, как Эрик Джонсон, с тобой сконтактировали на социальных медиах и с кем-нибудь еще из кем-нибудь игроков был контакт? Да, конечно, и с Эриком был в контакте, и с русскими ребятами, с Ваней Федотовым, с Егором Замовым. Вот. Еще писали ребята, капитан команды писал, вот, и 
очень тепло меня встретили, я очень рад, и я отвечу всем тем же, таким же теплом к ним. Вот, и очень благодарен ребятам. Надеюсь, что в дальнейшем познакомимся с ними вживую и будем еще ближе друг к другу. Uh, the captain of the team reached out. Um, uh, he was he was thankful. Uh, he's thankful for a warm welcome. Um, looking forward to meet everybody personally and looking forward to the great season. We also just on that we also also showed him a video of his uh, uh, a fight uh, between uh, Nick and uh, in the Rangers game last year. We told him it's, it's his new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> How much uh, English? Does he know now, and uh, how comforting is it to have a couple Russians on the team with him to navigate, help him navigate the language? Насколько ты знаешь английский на данный момент, и насколько это хорошо, что насколько поможет ты считаешь поможет то, что несколько русских. Да, конечно, люди, которые знают русский язык, и они находятся рядом, это всегда приятно. В помощь мне идет в данный момент, потому что сейчас второй день в Филадельфии, вот и с языковым барьером немного трудностей, вот, но я стараюсь с каждым днем все больше и больше понимать, что мне говорят, и надеюсь, что скоро что и отвечать тоже буду по-английски. Um, it's really comfortable to have somebody that speaks native language on the team, but he's every day getting more and more English, so hopefully soon he will be able not just uh, listen, but uh, reply, answer. Do a few more questions. Matt, you came off uh, the plane with the Phillies hat. Um, how long have you had that hat and whose idea was that? Uh, the idea was that 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 uh, idea was uh, the mutual idea. The, the everybody come up with that. Uh, he knows the there's a baseball team at Philadelphia, uh, one of the best, and he's uh, want to go meet uh, with the players, watch the game, and just uh, he knows that's so one of the best teams here. Favorite player? Favorite <laughs> player? <laughs> he don't remember. <laughs> Danny, you talked about you know, the importance of, of coaching and whatnot, but obviously there's you know a language gap there in terms of the, the coaches, you know, John Terrell and whatnot. How are you guys going to make that work logistically? Like, Are you going to have a translator around? Do you believe that that's not going to be an issue because of the universality of hockey yeah. terminology, things like that? Yeah, from my own personal experience with that, it, it'll take... Um, you know, a couple months for him to feel more and more comfortable. Uh, the hockey terms are very similar. Um, I, I'm not worried about that, especially with him being here two months early. Uh, he's going to feel more and more comfortable. Um, you know, and, and with torts, uh, sometimes words uh, uh, are not necessarily have to be spoken. <laughs> so um, I, I'm really not worried. I think by the time training camp starts uh, and as regular season starts, uh, he'll be he'll feel comfortable and it won't be an issue. Danny, your roster really didn't change all that much from, from the end of last season. Just from a pure hockey standpoint and from a skill standpoint, what can he add to the group? Another another level of, of skill. Um, you know, a, a few things uh, have changed, but uh, for me, it's the growth, uh, internal growth. Um, you know, our, our younger guys are getting a year older, uh, a little bit more mature. Um, you know, so to, to add a player of his talent level um, is just uh, hopefully eventually going to make us a better team, and that's why we're where we're at at our in our timeline. Um, it's kind of a good timing to, to bring him in and uh, expose him to our style of play. Yeah. Matt, me for you, how what do you hope to bring to the lineup on a nightly basis? Я надеюсь, что добавлю прежде всего молодую кровь в голов, что все от меня ждут. Хочу каждую игру побеждать и буду делать все возможное для победы команды. Что мне скажут делать, то я буду делать. Я буду делать большой объем работы, чтобы команда выиграла. И тут 
большие надежды возлагают мне и фанаты. Я не могу как-то плохо подготовиться к сезону. Руководство, руководство мне, я думаю, что доверяет. Да, так тепло встретили меня. Я должен ответить максимальностью, максимальностью с своей, своей стороны и всем тем же самым, что дают мне в данный момент. И будем, будем выиграть. Окей. Okay. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, bring the young blood to the team. Uh, bring, uh, put the goals on the on the scoreboard. Um, uh, help the team win uh, night after night, um, so the, the fans can be coming and enjoying the games more and more, and uh, help the team basically to win the whole thing. Last one. Has he said, have you set any goals for your rookie year, like as far as goals, points, that type of thing? Ты какую-нибудь себе задачу план какой-нибудь на на первый год по голам, по ассистентам, что-нибудь у тебя что-нибудь в планах есть, Владимир? Да, в планах, конечно, есть, но думаю, первая задача это, чтобы команда впала в плей-офф и забралась как можно выше по турнирной таблице. Вот, а свои личные цели есть в голове, но они всегда как бы есть, есть были будут, но это в себе по мне как бы. The first uh, plan to, for the team to make the playoffs and uh, uh, get uh, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the playoffs, uh, the, for him personal plans, he will keep it to himself. They are there, but he will keep them to himself. No, the best time was okay. Uh, the go all the way. Thanks, everyone. Danny, Matt, if I could have you <coughs> down here for the. Rage. All right. Well. He's here. Well, it was worth worth the trip, I should say. Oh, Let me yeah. get set up here, baller. Sorry. Got over. The man is here. He's here. He is here, Riggs. Saw him in the flesh. Um, I am Official. glad you started with your Russian lesson so you can tell me exactly what was being said there. Although Slava Kuznetsov does an unbelievable job, but I'm just happy to, that you have been brushing up on it. Yeah. Just like up. just like the javelin throw <laughs> in the Olympics. <laughs> exactly like the javelin throw. Exactly. He's putting that extra effort in. It was Hiroshio. <laughs> it was very good. Well, did he win? No, no. It hasn't happened yet. I'm talking about <laughs> our boy Matt Bay we just saw. It was funny when I, you know, I said to him, hey, we haven't seen you since you were here in the stew. Oh, I know. He said, wah-wah. Wah-wah. Yeah. He loves the wah-wah coffee. Wah, of course. Who doesn't? He's really going to love it now. Yeah, but he's uh, doing, doing endorsements for it even. He already is. In the country. <laughs> wonder what they're giving him. Free, free wah-wah coffee. Free wah-wah wah coffee. You, if you become a member, you can just, you know. It's your card all the time. You get free coffees all the time. Yeah, well, you're yeah, there twice a day. I do. All right, Riggs. Great trip over. Solid five minutes. We saw, <laughs> saw, no, it was actually interesting. Uh, obviously, Ball will have everything up that happened, but um, great to see him here. He's going to be here for two months, which is awesome. You know, to kind of like probably get adjusted, you hope, yeah, as much as so, possible. Yeah. And by the time camp starts, his English will definitely be better. We know that. Danny said that. But, um, Anyway, you know what I'm thinking about? What are you thinking about, Nass? Bet 365. Oh, jeez. Is it that time? I, I think it is. Okay. This segment is brought to you by Bet365, proud partner of Nasty Knuckles. Open an account with Bet365 today and bet on a huge range of markets. So whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. Use code HockeyCA. All right, Briggs. What do you got? I'm going to tell you what I've Pull got. Pull that app out. I'm going to tell you what I've got with the NFL training camp starting this week. I'm getting a little itchy for football. Oh, I know yeah. preseason games can be, you know, like not that great, but it's it's a, it's football. They're in pads. They're hitting. I love it. So I'm going to go into the NFL futures Ooh. about 365, and I'm going to pick the regular season passing leader. And you know who I'm going to take? PH? PM? PM. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is PM. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes at plus 550. I think uh, if he stays healthy, just like any quarterback, obviously, he has to stay healthy. I think he's going to take it. And I think at a plus 550, it's worth it. Yeah, I like that. Pretty strong, uh, pretty strong bet. Not a bad QB. Yeah, there you go. What do you got? Well, I am also going to stay in the NFL. Oh. Training camp going on. 
I'm going to choose the NFC champion. I, I'm interested to hear who you're taking. Very own Philadelphia Eagles. I figured that Plus was the play. Hundo. Let's go. Go Birds. I think they got it. E-A-G-L-E-S. It's a wrap. All right. It's happened. <laughs> it's a tapping. <laughs> we'll see. Good play, though. That's a wrap. I like it. Mm-hmm. Hey, guess what time it is? I don't know. You tell me now. I'm going to tell you right now. It's time for clear questions. Oh, jeez. Love it. How did I not know that? Uh, you should have. Clear questions brought to you by Clear Rum. Go to clearrum.com slash shop and get 35% off once you put in the code NASTY2023. PA residents only. Get it in you. It's hot. It's the most refreshing drink you can have. I'm telling you that right now, Riggs. You got to cool down, Nast. You got to cool it down. Pie plate's going on. <laughs> Little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hot in here. Riggs doesn't want to admit it. It's hot in her. It's hot in her. Nelly said that, didn't oh, he? Oh, he did, yeah. New edition, yeah, so you got to cool ago. it now. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, if, if, I love the girl, if I love the girl, who cares who you like? That's what, that's what they said. Anyway, baller, what do you got? Clear questions. From Ronnie, Bobby, uh, Ricky, or Mike, we're not sure. Actually, it's from Notorious P.I.G. Oh, uh, again, he's back. <laughs> he's back. Nasty, are you jealous Danny B got to be Mitch Goff's stick boy? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, if I was still there, I would have probably wanted to go. Oh, yeah. I Danny cared. did look pretty comfortable. He looked really good. Things. Yeah, he did. He looked good. He, You know. He did look good, Kerry. Yeah, that was, like was kind of like like funny. Story, yeah. I sent Baller, one of my buddies sent a picture. I was Kaz, our good friend Kaz, uh, sent me a picture that had my head on, I think, Jonesy, and then my buddy Chig, who I was just with all weekend uh, on uh, Danny. So I sent it to Baller, and Baller goes, who the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> I said, that's the guy you see every time you walk in my in the shop. But anyway, um, I'm not too jealous. I'm just happy he's here. That's a great question, though. Yes, it is. We got one from FlyersFan39 over on Twitter. As a teammate, would you travel in to meet Mitchkov ASAP? If it's me, easy to say. I'm getting on the next plane and meeting him at the skate zone just to welcome the guy to the team. He's here two months early. Don't leave him hanging. Um, You know, that's actually a pretty good question. Mm -hmm. um, it will be interesting to see if some guys like come into town for a few days. Um is there only time they don't have to come in? So it's like, you know, you know, Riley playing the game and even myself, I was there every day anyway, but like, it is nice to get a break, oh, but yeah. this is pretty exciting. And there are some guys in town now. Um, if they're not too far away, I would say, yeah, maybe a guy comes in for a few days to skate with him, meet yeah. him. Um, that's just me though. Yeah. I think it's, uh, individualized obviously i think some guys maybe just back home and this kind of came up pretty quickly right, right. I mean, it wasn't like there was a ton of time to to plan a trip obviously they can hop on a plane anytime i i don't think most guys w will come they'll kind of come when they're planning on coming but maybe there's a, a wily veteran or two that yeah you know feels the need has some space with their family and, and time to to come in and come in for a few days and skate with them and get to know them but I don't think many guys will, will do it. And it's not a disrespect. It's just right. kind of the way it goes. I mean, this is, like you said, this is their time off. Yeah. You're spending it with the family, wherever you are on the map. Um, so I, I think sometimes, and it's not anyone's fault, but like fans maybe don't realize how much you're gone. Yeah, Even sometimes season, yeah. when you're home, like, you know, you spend a lot oh, of the time there. You, you miss the a lot of, of the day. yeah, you miss a lot of family time. And so it is important, but uh, that is actually a good question because I'm sure there will be one or two that probably pop in. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I think when you, you look at this time of the year, it's the only time you really get like time more than a few hours you know what i right. mean so we'll see though if uh, guys pop in yeah and it is exciting time obviously for flyer fans but the flyer players i mean yes it's like a free agent signing that it's you know huge. you got this guy coming in that's going to really help yeah. bring the team together so if there's an excitement level for sure in that locker room there's no question one more this one's from young biza mm. oh biza on twitzy how many games do you think Ivan Fedotov starts? Ooh. I think that's going to depend on who's playing better. I don't know. 
it's hard to say. Like, obviously, Carter was the number one guy, and he would get the majority of the games, you know, the last few years. Uh, but Sam's kind of proved himself. He had a good season last year. I think he's a really good goalie. I think it's going to be determined by who's p- playing well. So, But if you're asking how many starts, well, I mean, again, it's hard to guess, but at this point I would say Sam's number one. So, Tor, I would say Fedotov gets 30. Yeah. Do you, do you think they're going into the season, like, yeah, Sam's probably edged out one, but, like, are they going to go in and, and alternate and kind of see how it shakes out? Maybe, or maybe Torts makes it a Just makes friendly it a, competition. It's, right. you know, it's, believe it or not, like, I don't, I haven't had it happen too many times, but there have been a couple of times where it wasn't that, goalies didn't like each other but the competition almost got to where you felt like maybe a goalie friction. was pulling against a guy right yeah. you know or yeah. or and, I, and listen no one ever said that out loud right but you know riley as a being a player and a coach you can feel if there's a little yeah tension but um i don't think they want that and the way urson cares himself i don't think he has that in him anyway yeah I agree. um so i think you come into camp and you're like hey like number one spot's open yeah i mean because it's kind got, of the way i see it yeah they may have their idea who they think is first but yeah you it can change, change quickly. quickly yeah exactly one guy brings it one guy doesn't or one guy brings a little bit more right you get a little more opportunity well he's got to run with that obviously yeah you're right and and if you if you go back to when bobrovsky came in he wasn't supposed to be opening night starter yeah right yeah That's and he point. ended up being our starter mm-hmm. so you just never know yep never know great question though it's a wrap nas is that Give it thumbs up thumbs up from baller you know it's okay you know it's time <laughs> you know it's time to pack her in great trip great, great, little. <laughs> great little five minute roadie oh to the man it's like a little field trip for nasty knuckles <laughs> gotta do more of those the hockey outlaws i think we do that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. A lot of laughs. Yes. The chuckles in that five minutes there and back. Well, Fridgey, you talk to him for one minute, you're going to get more in a couple oh, yeah. chuckles. That was worth it. It was. Well, that's a wrap. 166 in the books. Be sure to check us out next week for 167. Until then, stay safe, knuckleheads. See ya.